I'm Joey Carvelis, and we're back for another episode of Eat Like a Boss. So if you come into these restaurants, you see artwork all over the buildings, all over the walls, and you wonder who it is. Well, we got him here today, and we have his wife. His wife has murals all over town in Ashley Park, at the Lion Creek Brewery, lots of businesses. These guys are straight rolling. Let me just tell you a little bit about John Stidham. John Stidham has a master's degree from the University of Georgia in art. He did work for The Walking Dead, he does work for uh, Stranger Things, Spider-Man. Let's bring this dude on. Let's bring him and his wife on. John and Amber Stidham. Come on in. How you doing? We doing well, we doing well. Thank you so much for having us. Well, it's great to have you guys here today. So fun, but you know, we met at Carvella's Pizza at the old place, right? Long time you guys ago. came in, y'all eating, oh, yeah. talking about art, talking about pizza, food. The original location. Now we're here. With all these restaurants and all this art all over the walls, we, you did it. So tell us a little bit about yourself, John. Well, my name's John Stidham. I got a master's degree from Georgia, and I've been working in the film industry in Atlanta for the past seven years or so. Uh, met Joey a while back, and immediately we thought you had something really special going, and we never could have guessed that uh, it'd come this far where you've got this incredible location, these beautiful old walls. It was, uh, it, the honor to paint them and just gave me freedom and let me have at it I, you know I'm really grateful for that well that's that's something I, I really think it's important to let somebody that has a, a, a gift to let them just have free reign and use their creativeness their imagination because I mean if somebody tried to tell me what I could cook and control that I wouldn't love cooking too much right and it won't be as good it won't be as it won't be near as good because you know what you're doing that's right we found that out with the food immediately this guy knows what he's doing what I'm talking about. So Amber, she is just as big around noon. And you're, you're, you have your own business. You do it full time. You've done murals all over noon and some humongous murals. One down, right here in downtown, Ashley Park, all kind of restaurants, businesses. Your business is really just kind of soaring right now. It is, it is. I've, I've got a lot of cool projects coming up and I'm still very grateful to get to kind of work all over, not just in noon, but like all over. So. You guys check her out. We'll leave her, her Instagram handle right down here at the bottom the and give her a check. So I heard you proposed to your wife yep. under a mural. Yeah. Tell in Atlanta. us a little about that. That was in Atlanta and uh, we, I knew of an area that had a lot of great murals and I got my buddy Mike to help me out and he was going to, you know, we were going to set it up. We were acting like we were shooting a music video, but uh, we spr I sprung the question on her there. She totally... Yeah, she had no idea, so mission accomplished. But anyway, I knew that murals were gonna be a part of our life because we were just so passionate about them. And here we are now, we've just been slanging paint all these years now. It seems like a lot of fun, you guys working together. And when y'all first came to Carvelis, y'all were drawing all kind of cool art on the butcher paper. That was a really cool thing that we saw that you were doing, like it's not just for kids, you know. You're encouraging people. You're saying, "Here's a blank, a blank canvas." So, you know, while you're waiting for your food, make a quick little doodle. And this, I, you know, you, your environment lended itself towards creativity. Absolutely, absolutely, it does. That's what I did in school all the time. I didn't do my work. I doodled, drew. doodling on the faces. I yeah, yeah. Drew out menus and stuff too. I created a menu in school, nice. not not homework. <laughs> So eating off the butcher paper, what do you guys think? Yes or no? Yes, love it. Why not? All right. I love it too. It's, it's, a, it's a cool thing here. Started at the shack, still going, still a really popular thing. Some people don't like it, but it's okay. They're, they're, they're learning to like it. <laughs> what is y'all's favorite thing on the menu? Flying buffalo pizza is probably my favorite, but I'm quickly changing my mind about the, the green wave. Greenway is pretty special. Oh man, that is a delicious pizza. Very simple, but it is. The Hogan'sville special. Oh man, that's good. What's your favorite? Uh, fried pickles. Fried pickles. Ooh. The best fried pickles. Hot parm. 
<laughs> all right, well, let's do it. Let's get all three of them over here. So it all started with a fried pickle, huh? Y'all's date. Yeah. You, you got hooked. Absolutely. She tried them somewhere else before, and they weren't as good. As soon as we got them, we were like, oh, this guy has figured out fried pickles. These are perfect. They're, they're just the right thickness, crispiness is perfect. It's a perfect appetizer for pizza. I feel like yeah. it sets your palate up for the pizza that's about to come, and it maybe makes that pizza even more tasty. I think you're right about that. I really do. Nice, tangy bite there. Cheers. Here's to uh, lots more stores <laughs> and many more murals. So good. We've had a lot of conversations, John, about opening lots more stores, right? And the, the bright future for this food, taking it all the way across the southeast, right? Me and John have some pretty, pretty uh, big talks about art and food all over. So y'all need to pay attention because we're coming to your city real soon. Well, that, John, Amber, that's how you eat like a boss. Like a boss.